What's up? Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below as part of the channel. Thank you. So here I have an article from the Business Post from December 2022 and it says stay to recruit local champions to quell fears over refugee housing. Protest against state provided accommodation for asylum seekers. Were the people of the country of Ireland asked if they wanted to permit this? No, they weren't. And even if they were, I would very much so find the results to be suspect considering who's going to be working the machine from behind the curtain. So, refugees prompt actions to defuse tensions over the issue. So I saw that article in December 2022 and I thought, mm, that's interesting that is. And considering this has popped up now in East Wall, it's popped up in Drimna and it has popped up now in Ballymun. There was one person in particular that put the neck out and I said, that's very interesting now considering the fact that that article is out there. But look at this here. This is coming from the state broadcaster here in this country. Of course, as you know, the blue and yellow country doesn't have many people that look like Lucky here residing in the country yet that seems to be an awful lot of what's been brought into ireland people from certain parts of africa people from georgia albania and you've got a couple of other people then that seem to not be coming from the country with the blue and yellow flag very weird very strange and the bus loads of them that we've seen coming off the bus and into these places don't seem to fit the descriptions of what the blue and yellow country are putting out there as their ethnicity in polls not too long ago protests outside ballymun hotel described as embarrassing and disturbing moira hannon speaks to an asylum seeker from south africa <laughs> south africa <laughs> is everything now hunky dory over there i thought we were just taking people in from the blue and yellow country uh, it's, uh, it's other places as well <laughs> oh my god absolutely unbelievable and that's why people have questions with regards to that you know they're looking at it and they're going hang on here for a sec and then also, as Philly likes to talk about here in this post, he likes to use some of the talking points that people are actually talking about now and starting to gather steam because they're the truth. We've spent an awful lot of time in this country telling lies to each other and listening to lies and people like the media that have been out there peddling those lies. Now it's coming to the point in time where your son, your daughter, your nephew, your niece, your grandchild, whatever it might be, isn't able to afford a home. They're looking at a home costing six figures, which means they are working basically from paycheck to paycheck to try and afford a home. That means that they are basically no more than, in my opinion, in chains to be paying for that. But what they see and what you see are people coming into this country and are being given free stuff hand over fist. Meanwhile, our own people are struggling. You've also at the same time got the government go far now with them saying that they've taken 85 billion in tax over the last year. That suggests to me that you're paying way too much tax. But not only that though, you are seeing people really, really struggling in this country and there doesn't seem to be any sort of help coming their way. You're seeing one billion being spent in foreign aid and you're seeing three billion being spent on bringing people into this country when we do not have the facilities for that and as i said six figure houses have become the norm that's why people are looking at what's going on and are saying to themselves i'm not having that that's before we even talk about crime rates that's before we talk about what happened in sligo that's before we talk about what happened to ashling morphy it's before we talk about that altogether. By the way, the media wanted to say that Enoch Bork cost the taxpayer 25000 to have him in jail and the fact that they were already paying his wages also. Okay, tell you what to do. Draw up a list of all the nationalities of people that are hanging around the jails here in Ireland and let us know about that. And let us know what their sentences are. And let's see what they're costing the taxpayer. Huh? No interest in that though, have you? So... Going on this post here from Philly McMahon. Now, Philly McMahon possesses tens of thousands of followers on Twitter, and it's always something I like to do. The likes on this post are very low. Look at the views 279,000 views, but it's only gathering just under 4,000 likes. That's very interesting, isn't it? It's kind of letting you know how people are feeling. They're not into this stuff anymore. Leftism 
is great when times are going well because people can go far out of them about all they want but when times are hard reality sets in and people say okay that's it now we're not putting up or any sort of nonsense it's back to the grind and this is what you've got here now from philly so i would ask this philly are you a local champion have you been hired to be a local champion because this reads to me like someone that has been and if you are i mean you've got should have gotten someone like a pr firm or something like that to write this because this comes off very very stupid he says disappointing to see some of the scenes in ballymore over the last two days this is a fellow by the way that will go out and use his brother as much as possible to try and get a gig allegedly speculatively from a community that is judged constantly to now judging asylum seekers yeah because they're looking at what's happened to england for example and france and sweden where people have moved in and have caused mayhem in these areas have you not heard about what happened in Killarney? you know that's the norm in the likes of france now it's the norm in sweden so everybody has seen what is coming and they've decided to say yeah not into that listen you know what dana was up to down the road but i tell you what you don't know what kalechi and the rest of the lads are gonna get up to until they landed into the place and then caused a bit of mayhem so why not step away from that criminals yeah you're a criminal if you rip up your passport to enter a country illegally is that not what criminality is by the way the same people that'll have no issue with these people ripping up their passports to gain entry into this country were the same ones that were delighted for you to not be granted entry into a gym a restaurant a pub or a cinema because you didn't want to engage in an experiment over the last two years just so as you know same people wanted to criminalize you the world is inverse not vetted correct i'm sure people that are out there like you philly have sat and watched like nothing to declare and border patrol in australia when someone takes out a banana and the banana isn't the right color for the authorities that are there and they're going ah, it's a different shade of green than we like here mate and your man's told to toddle off back to his own country and then to ban from the country like y'all thought that was great and hilarious and this is the baseline where i'm at i know people that have gone to australia and have had records and have been promptly sent home and banned from australia and i said i have no problem with that no problem with that whatsoever because you could get up to shenanigans across there and they've decided now we're not having any potential of that whatsoever so that's why vetting's important it will impact homelessness it already has when you've seen a government that has been very interested in housing these people in hotels and in sports stadiums there was no energy like that for our own homeless that's a fact all men majority of them are absolutely but even at that i don't think we should be taking in the world into this country because when you have figures like six figures for a house here in dublin that's at a point in time where you say there's something wrong something very seriously wrong when a bang average house is gone for over a quarter of a million money that people will never see in their lifetime and will have to spend a lifetime to get that money to then give it to someone else so yeah on that wavelength 100 percent, nobody should be coming into the place is my view it has evidence of far right clause in it okay that's a nice little buzzword that you people are using out there what does that mean what does far right mean law and order vetting people looking after our own oh that doesn't seem bad whatsoever that actually seems quite positive so this whole far right thing a lot of people are raising their hand and being like yeah that's me so you've used the term now that's not going to look too well in the future because people are going to go uh what's that it's considered far right and they're mocking and ridiculing you some forget who we are yeah this is a nation by the way that in 1916 it finally repelled a british invasion that had lasted for hundreds of years that's who we are that's what we commemorate every year and by the way this is a fella that played for the gaa the gaa i didn't see any sort of questioning from philly mcmahon when the gaa decided to open up croke park to people that had a fate that's not native to this land 
that were celebrating a festival of sacrifice for two years on the bounce. Meanwhile, the same organisation along with the media and politicians were telling people to stay at home and were cancelling Catholic sacraments. I didn't see you talking about that at all then, Philly. You weren't disgusted by that, were you? And then he goes on and says, the bots are out in force. So that's when you know you've lost the argument because you've gotten lambasted in the comments and rightfully so for a completely stupid take that an awful lot of people are very easily looking at now and saying to themselves, what he's talking there is absolute shit and here's what's really going on. So I'm not sure where Philly lives, but certainly these types of issues are not happening in the likes of Dorky. They're not happening in the back garden of the likes of Leo Varadkar. They're not happening in the likes of the back garden of Miha Martin or any of these other places. Stephen Donnelly, by the way, wanted to put up a higher fence because he was like, oh, people are becoming upset about the restrictions that have lasted over a year here for the sniffles. Meanwhile, at the same time, by the way, Philly will totally ignore as well too the likes of young athletes passing away suddenly and stuff like that. Uh, heart issues amongst the youth. Ignore that now. You know, forget about that there, Philly. The Croke Park was also used as a facility to push that stuff out. Forget about that though. Not we interested in that, of course. So these things were happening and not a murmur from these people. But what's going on now is this. People at a grassroots level are gathering and they have said enough. Their heads are not going to be torn by some sham because you pulled on a jersey for Dublin and won a medal. It's not going to be torn by shams like yourself. It's not going to be torn by politicians. It's not going to be torn by the media. People have now finally switched off. You are just looked at as if you're some sort of Hollywood individual where you're just a talking head and that's all. Nothing more. So it's interesting to see the response to this. I think it's great to see and I think it's funny. You've now got 31 counties that have always disliked Philly McMahon. They've got another reason to dislike him. And now you've turned your own county against you, Philly. Very good. <laughs> so anyway, I'll leave the video there. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell up above for future uploads. And check out the links posted in the description down below. It's part of time. I'll talk to you later. Good luck.